Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be finally taking a look at the set 75280 501st Legion Clone Troopers. And wow, this is one of my what I did one of my first videos on when it got revealed. And yeah, this is an amazing set, guys. Honestly, um cost 30 pounds, uh, 25 pounds, 30 dollars and 30 euros. And yeah, as you can see, it has four mini figures, the two uh, battle droids, you could call it the 501st Legion clone, tr um, clone Troopers Battle Pack, which is kind of what I call it, but um, yeah, it's an amazing deal. I know some people were upset that it weren't a traditional battle pack being the um, £13, $15, but honestly, guys, that you will not want to. Like, it does not matter. It is incredible what they've done. They easily could have just given us the walk out and be done with but no, they got this Bark Speeder, I believe is what it's called, and overall, I think this is amazing. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the minifigure category of this review. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and then let's get Taking to it. Taking a look at the 501st Troopers here, you can see we have the Ordinary one and the Jetpack Trooper one, which was kind of one of those things that people were like, why can't we have the four the same? But it works so well because you do see them, and it would be great to have an army of these, which I kind of want to build my first army out of 501st Troopers. So as you can see, here are the minifigures, which here you can see their face print, which, wow, I am so happy that they have done this. Hashtag no more angry clone face. It is gone. Thank you. Just thankfully it is gone. Just thank just whoever done it. Like seriously, it's an amazing thing and um, more accurate. And it'll be really great to see if they do it to Boba and Django effect. And it's just one of those subtle changes which is gonna make all the difference. So you can see the ordinary blaster. Again, ordinary blaster, amazing. I know some people said about the hit piece. Personally, I think it is fine. Here you can see the toe printing, which again I think that is fine. No, I mean sorry, it looks good, it looks great, definitely. The arm printing, sorry, is what I meant to say looks fine. Some were saying the little blue strip, I kind of get that they couldn't have dual-molded it, or um, I think, wasn't it? I know you can triple-mold legs, so kind of maybe that could have worked here. But then again, we don't want to ruin these with potentially going wrong. So yeah, here are the five of the first figures. I think they are great. And then you have this blue jetpack, which I think that is just such a nice colour. Like, seriously, Lego have absolutely done off. Like, take your hats off for them. Like, seriously, they have absolutely... They haven't just delivered this set. Because I remember in the video, they was like, you asked for it, we made it. Wow, they haven't just made it. They've absolutely perfected it. Here you can see the back torso detailing. Then here is that one, and as you can see, has a little one pack. And yeah, I think these are absolutely amazing troopers. And then if you want to see what he looks like there, which I think that's cool because you kind of could make like a leader out of him if you didn't want that many jet troopers, which, um, not Jack, well, uh, who remembers that character? But um, yeah, they're the figures which I think are so good. So yeah, again, um, well done to Ryan m &R Productions. He was like the one who kind of voiced this uh, movement of a set. So yeah, great mini figures, guys, and you get four of them. And I kind of want to show that you do get, uh, so you get this gu um, blaster gun design, if that will focus in yep here you can see that one and then you also have this one on the speeder so yeah you kind of get a good variety of weapons for this which is even better and we don't actually have any blast shooters which wow thankfully lego have got rid of them for this set so let's take a look at the battle troopers and here they are guys i thought i put them together as they're kind of not attached to anything i think this is great i know that they kind of don't make sense in the sense of they have nothing they're doing here like why would two lonely battle droids go up against a bark fina and an atrt but hey that's kind of what they do but yeah i think this is a really it's a really good design like i kind of get that they could not do the legs joint but that could potentially well not potentially i think it would definitely fracture the um the plastic molding because it's got to be so skinnied and quite rigid for the kind of how the droids are but overall i think that's great it would definitely go with the at um the aat sorry which yeah again i can't i have not got that one i've ordered it on amazon should be here monday tuesday so that's cool but yeah here are those figures guys really awesome. and here we have the bark speeder guys which as you can see he fits on it is a bit it's well it's not sorry it's a bit it's a tad bigger than i thought but still this is an absolutely amazing build here you can see the grill part and just looking at it from every angle let's just respect what they've done with this so if we kind of zoom in here sorry yeah you can see that we have this angle which has this um, engine which is so good then we have this as a grill then they have this under like under section which they did not need to add which is amazing then here you can see the side which i think looks great kind of straightening that up then that's what the front looks like again amazing and then if we kind of 
focus it in like that you can see it like that and i just think that is such a good shot just look at that that looks great here you've got the stud shooters on the front here's that our first look at that piece which it's good that they did it sometimes i wonder why because you know they can't do everything together bricks like that but it's kind of better because that doesn't come off where the other two you'd like be like playing with it for example or moving it and it kind of it mostly would pop off but here you can see the side which Let's pop him down completely. Apologies for that. And there you can see, guys. Oh, wow. This, wow. Um, yeah, this this is great. Like, it's just like, originally, I never knew what the fight was first. Well, I was just like, wow, this, like, when I heard about it, I was like, this is awesome. I hope it happens. It'd be great to see, like, Lego responding to the community. And it's like, yeah, I'm up for it. Yeah. You know, support of it. And, um, yeah, thought it was really good when they did. I couldn't believe it, as you've mostly seen in that um, video. That's not that good. Now, I could definitely do better on that. But that's hey, one of my first videos. But then, yeah, you can see where you put the uh, weapons, which I think are great. This is kind of just the um, lightsaber blade, which is really cool. Then you've got this sticker, guys which kind of goes all the way across, which is really good. And then you can see it here, which I think looks really awesome. Then the way they slope this down here is absolutely amazing. And yeah, I think this looks really good. There is the towel area and wow, this looks amazing. So yeah, I don't really know what else to kind of show on it. Actually, I guess or I can show that it's a better angle then I can actually show this area, which yeah, I think that um, I did. I think I matched it up really well. So here you can see this trooper, guys, which if you kind of put his hand half and half, you can actually hold both, which I think I'm going to do because it looks pretty amazing like that uh, being uh, personally. Um, yeah, that's what I think. So there you can see that engine there. If I kind of zoom in, yeah, I can focus in there and on that side. And then, yeah, you can see the controls, which I think are really cool. And the way what you the way you do it, you kind of just unplug them from there. So, yes, you do have any tendency for falling off, but that's kind of, you know, just how it goes. Here you can see that seat, which, again, I think is done so well. Bit of a gap there, but that is no worries at all, and that doesn't actually pop off. So, yeah, there are the controls, and that is the box speeder, which I think is absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad LEGO have done this. This has got me an amazing set. And can I just say, in England currently, it's like, I don't know, 80 degrees or something. Wow, it's hot in here. So let's jump to the, uh, no, it's actually supposed to be like 106 or 96, somewhere around there, maybe 92, but let's jump to the uh, ATRT. I'm taking a look at the ATRT itself here. You can see it is pretty awesome. Then taking a look at the feet here, you can see there's a bit of a gap when it's original. I was like, hmm, I'm not sure about that. But no, it looks completely fine. Like it's not something I'm going to be looking at. The back of the feet, again, look a bit weird, but again, it's not bad. It's a good weird. Like it's so different to the other one in not a bad way. They've not made it so, clunky which is really good because um i've got some bad things i've had with that like i remember the other day i pulled the figure off and i tried to put it back and it literally just collapsed the whole model and then i had to like rebuild quite a fair bit but um, that weren't a problem here you can see the legs which i think are really awesome then if you kind of want to lift up the toes you can see that under there not really anything too special but yeah you can see that here is this sticker which i think is great and then we have one on the uh, reverse side again which I think is pretty awesome you can see that there then you've got these dish parts with these grills which I think are pretty awesome then if we take a look at these dish pieces and the leg you can see that there and then same there so that looks pretty awesome then here you can see the um, back of it which I think looks good they could have put some reverse tiles if they did some two by twos which um yeah I think of it they could have but it's not a part that we currently have which to be honest I think we will at some point then here you can see the underside of this part which I think they've done the underside of this set has actually been well I've just knocked my stand over that I use um, for the figures this um I'll talk about that in more in a minute but then here you can see that little part which um I kind of missed that originally but yeah I think that's good that they way they've structured it really well then here you can see under that area as well and you've got a technique world going in between but yeah that is the bottom part of the 8080 88 taking a look at the kind of middle section and the top section here you can see there is a stud shooter which is pretty cool well a stud like cannon if you want to call it that and yeah you can see that and i think that looks just really great here you can see these stickers which again i think are great apologies that seems hmm, a little bit crooked but that is fine here you can see that then you can see what it's where it says 501st and 501st here which i think is great and then taking a look down a notch here you can see this area which i kind of don't get the idea of that but i love that they've done that because it shows that they are going to add this extra detail to make this set truly amazing and it, it literally already is here you've got the 501st sticker you've got the grill pieces then kind of moving to the back here you can see that with the 
reverse tile, which, yeah, I think the back of this looks great. Here you can see the binoculars and the, um, I think it's like a barrel. Well, the gun's got an extra barrel. I don't really know anything about guns. No names. I don't play any of those games, so I don't really know. But here you can see the 501st sticker, which I think is great. You can see the uh, gun there. And then it says sword. And yeah, I think this looks great. That definitely doesn't look the best. I know that's what people said, but personally, I think it is fine. And here you can see on this side and this side. So yeah, that is what that looks like. I'm going to quickly put this on the stand so we can see above this. See the top with the stickers, which I think that looks great personally. I think that just looks really good there. You can see the stickers. And yeah, it's quite shiny, of course, so it's new. But yeah, that's kind of what that area looks like. That sticker is great. I remember that arrow from like the other one and the battle marks, which is good. And it's kind of cool the way they put it, that grill plate prick piece sorry so you can see that and yeah i think this looks great apologies if the stickers look a bit crooked they look worse than they did a while ago then here you can see guys him sitting here which is pretty awesome i think that works really well then here you can see him at the well here let's see the back of it properly there's that's it's kind of all held up by that one piece with the technic rods going in between but then if we kind of move this forward which you can you can see a better look at the control panel, which I think is great. It definitely works really well. Then here at the back, you can see this element here. And the idea is, guys, you can kind of move it down. I guess you could. Um, yeah, I guess I guess you can um, use it as a gun if you really wanted to. But I wouldn't. Well, no, I wouldn't recommend it because it's kind of not it's in purpose. But yeah, I think this looks great. But, um, yeah, I think this looks great. So then what you can do, guys, oh, apologies. So that is one issue I've had. You kind of can end up pushing it down too hard, which I kind of ha a bit of hand-fisted over here. But then here you can see that from the above, they've got those little elements in there, which I think are good. And so here we have the trooper. And look what you can do. You can just pull him out, which I never saw. The, I never kind of realised this, and uh, like, at first, you can't buy the photos. But it's so good. Like, if, if we have him clipped in here, guys, and the issue is, like I said, every time I would, like, pull him apart, it would just like take the figure out it would actually wreck the set but look it's gonna kind of just do that like yeah it pulls that up a little bit but that's kind of i'm a bit hand fisted like i said so knowing how it goes i probably would end up breaking it but overall that is an absolutely amazing build but i think they've definitely really sorted like it is definitely miles better than what they've done in the past with these kind of uh, mechs uh, sorry walkers which is kind of well not kind of it is definitely a good thing because then it means you're not going to have it getting as uh, broken as much but um yeah the bottom can sort of pop off a little bit but that kind of isn't a issue so then if we repose the legs is that uh yeah uh, apologies guys there we go i've got it sorted so yeah that is the actual at rt itself i think it's awesome and let's quickly take it well actually i can just say that's where his gun is i don't think i've explicitly or yeah said that it's his but um yeah let's quickly take a look at the posability you guys want to know about the posability you can't really pose much you can move this around you can kind of move that and move these out they're kind of not meant to be you sort of move that that's not meant to be either so the kind of thing is that you can move these back which um I guess you can kind of do if you wanted to close up the walker, but you can't really, um, actually telling a lie, you kind of, um, you can do that. So, I don't know, maybe you want to turn into, like, Joy the Car. You could, oh my, wow, you could actually have it like that, and then it kind of be like, I don't know, Joy the Car. <laughs> but yeah, I think this works really well, then. It's good that they have that, so there's a limit, and it's easy to pose these in because you kind of just can't move them out of their range it's just these parts that kind of go floppy so you can have them back quite far so if we keep them like that you can have those far they can have the feet flat like that and they kind of clip on but they don't stick which is good they sort of nearly fell apart but yeah then you can kind of have it sitting down i don't know why you'd want to do that but hey you might and yeah i think this looks really good so there we have it guys i hope you enjoyed this segment of the review let's quickly put the gun on and let's take a look at the set as an overall thing we're taking a look at the actual box because why not considering i've actually got it on hand and it's not flat packs so that's kind of what i do so, uh, so here you can see it says the well 501st jet trooper and the neo uh, 501st truck clone troopers in the battle pack and it's a pretty good box i remember seeing this and i was like wow is this fake because well you can see it looks awesome and all of that so yeah i think it's a really nice box definitely we have the fun tabs here in England and 
most of Europe, I think Australia included. Here you can see that. That'd be cool to play. I will play that game. Most, most probably won't do it on the channel because I don't know all the copyright stuff. I would have to look into that, but I kind of am quite slow with my game. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think this box is great. You can kind of see all the angles of it at the top. Here's the one-to-one uh, -one ratio scoundrel. Yeah. So, that, guys, is the box. Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Then we'll quickly take a look at the manual as it's quite a special set. I think a really cool thing would have been is if, if in these pages it says something like thank you to Eminem Productions for like voicing it because he was kind of like the YouTuber I would say who kind of voiced it. I know there's a few others but he was like the one who kind of started the whole thing. It's quite a hefty manual, has 80 um, three pages. Oops, nearly uh, bent the page. Then here you can see the advert for this. Pretty awesome. Then you can see this, which uh, is really good to see. Out of these sets, guys, obviously five of first. That is coming. Definitely want to get that, but oh, wait until that's down to price. Definitely raise a quest, hoping for September 1st release there. And um, definitely the 8080, never got one, and that one, yeah, definitely. So, kind of, I really said one of the first styles, and the resistance set is great. It's kind of one of the first ways to actually like pretty much every set. Oh, speaking of the set, really the only ones I'm not really interested is that like one and um, that too because I got the older original. But yeah, I think this is a great wave. I can't wait until this set arrives. And um, yeah, also another wave because it's kind of like Star Wars kind of has got a lot more better in my opinion. Sometimes like sometimes I don't get many sets. Sometimes I do it kind of just depends. I'm not like a hard collector on those sets. Oh, we've done that review on that one and that one. Oh, I still got to do a review on that one, but um. Yeah, I definitely want to get these two at some point. Um, these two were no's, but I wanted that layer piece. But now that they might be doing a um, UCS um, Moss Eisley Cantina, as you heard, I might have to now. So, I oh, don't know about that. But yeah, there is the manual, which I think is great. And I'll show you the sticker sheet as well, which, apologies, is a bit crooked. But yeah, there is that. So, let's jump to the it's actually quite funny, guys, at the fact I've got my phone on the Lego limousine from the like, private air, uh, VIP airplane set, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, overall, guys, that is the same word I used to describe the set. This is awesome. This this is amazing. This is perfectly done. I think I agree with what others have said. They definitely should do more of these $20, $25-$30 battle packs. Yes, they're more expensive, but look, you get two amazing builds. Lego haven't just thrown one of these extra in. They haven't just built that and then thrown this in. They've actually put effort into this. They have absolutely done it outstanding. The amount of effort into this set is absolutely amazing to see. And it's great to see the community all coming back all like together asking for a set. I think that was great to see. Yeah, I know with ideas it like it kind of people say well you know what an idea so is it right that they've done it i think that the first thing guys i think right they should add a new a new place where you have maybe every i don't know three to four months you have a vote and basically um what lego do you have like i don't know a week to put every down every set you you have one set idea that you put down it has to be like a vehicle or something and then basically the top five that then get get put into another review and then lego basically then come out with like the poll saying what one do you want out of these like i think that'd be great like for example if we if we were talking about in jargo someone could do like cyrus uh they could do borg shintaro and then i don't know um uh, cloud kingdom they could do those three then let's say cyrus borg tower got the most um votes and then that got put into a poll with i don't know like let's just say those three were in the poll as well as they were only three and then that kind of got chosen like th that was the best one i think that'd be an amazing idea could be like lego theme I set ideas like stuff like that but yeah overall this is such a good set i'm so happy lego have done this and yeah thank you guys for watching this video remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and i just wow i'm in love with this set to be honest it is great it's perfect so yeah i'm gonna go and put this on display guys and i don't know am i gonna build any more uh, i'll open the poly bag and um i'll see how it goes i'm gonna get this uploaded for you guys so till tomorrow's video bye for now wow it's like 90 degrees in here see you tomorrow bye for now